Unlocking Secrets of the Universe? Dark Photons Revealed in Latest CERN Experiments and a Quantum Leap Forward, Shaping the Future of Machine Learning at CERN. Congratulations. You're watching ESN IC News. That's a wise decision. Let's get into the first article directly from CERN. And actually, before we get into this, did you know that there's an estimated 30,000 particle accelerators around the world, according to Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA? More than 30,000 accelerators are in use around the world. Of these, more than 97% are used for commercial purposes, such as manufacturing semiconductors. Read all about it, United States Environmental Protection Agency. Now let's get to the article. Shaping Future Quantum Technologies in Machine Learning. And then we're going to talk about the shadow particles. Problem solving gets faster if quantum methodologies are used instead of classic computers. Physicists and computer scientists are therefore working closely together to explore this potential. The 7th of November, the International Conference of Quantum Techniques and Machine Learning was held at CERN, bringing together over 300 researchers and industry partners in the field. Machine learning uses data and algorithms to help computers to learn patterns and perform more efficiently and effectively with tasks ranging from helping doctors to diagnose cancer to improving facial recognition, combining techniques from quantum physics with machine learning can reduce the number of steps needed for algorithms to obtain a correct answer. CERN is putting significant effort into developing quantum technology for particle physics and beyond. Through the Quantum Technology Initiative and the Open Quantum Institute, explained Alberto Di Maglio, head of the innovation sector in CERN's IT department in his opening speech, as well as talks from researchers, organizations, and companies showcased their latest developments with talks from ESA, Google, IBM, Intel, IONQ, NASA, NASA, <laughs> and PASQAL. Applications range from optimizing aircraft cargo loading to developing new algorithms to study lithium compounds and their chemical reactions in battery chemistry. The presence of major industry partners was a key element of the conference, confirms Michael Grossi, senior fellow in quantum computing and algorithms at CERN. The continuous interaction between industry and academia is helping the community to drive the quantum revolution in a fair way. The conference was organized without parallel sessions, which divide participants, enabling researchers from various fields to interact. This conference allowed more than 300 people to gather each day to exchange around one focused theme, says Miguel Marquina, senior staff member in CERN's IT department. It is powerful to experience such an engaging environment. So think of the implications of quantum computer technologies that can run calculations to solve problems that would take supercomputers that use standard chips that can calculate billions of floating points per second, sometimes trillions or more. Those computers use a different architecture. And even though they're extremely fast, certain encryptions and certain codes would take thousands of years to decode. With quantum computers and quantum technologies, now they can run multiple positions at once instead of ones and zeros. They can be uh, one and zero and everything in between. These computers will revolutionize the world as we know it. They're going to break codes to the universe. These are, that's why supercomputers and quantum computer technologies are on the forefront right now in the cutting edge, the cutting edge. Because with these capabilities and these types, like this type of processing power, you ask it a question, and now these quantum computers will be the new magic mirrors on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You need an answer. You need a solution. Ask the quantum computer. You integrate the right artificial intelligence and the right algorithms to process 
this much data, you now have a modern version of super beans. When Gordy Rose talked about creating aliens, building aliens via building quantum computers and artificial intelligence, We are seeing that unfold, metaphorically speaking, because we are creating technologies beyond our wildest dreams, and these technologies will create technologies beyond our wildest dreams also. Some of us, anyway. Quite remarkable. Let's go to the next article. Latest search for new exotic particles at CERN. The CMS experiment has presented its first search for new physics using data from run three of the Large Hadron Collider. The new study looks at the possibility of dark photon production and the decay of Higgs bosons in the detector. Dark photons are exotic, long-lived particles. Long-lived because they have an average lifetime of more than a tenth of a billionth of a second. That's pretty long. That's an old age in terms of particles, according to the article. A very long lifetime in terms of particles produced in the LHC and exotic because they are not part of the standard model of particle physics. Exotic, that sounds exciting. The standard model is the leading theory of the fundamental building blocks of the universe. Many physics questions remain unanswered. So searching for phenomena beyond standard models continue. CMS's new results define more constrained limits on parameters of the decay of the Higgs bosons to dark photons, further narrowing down the area in which physicists can search for them. So if you take this in theory, dark photons would travel a measurable distance in the CMS detector before they decay into displaced muons. If scientists were to retrace the tracks of these muons, they would find that they don't reach all the way to the collision point because the tracks come from a particle that has already moved some distance away without any trace. So in run three of the Large Hadron Collider, which began July 2022 and has a higher instantaneous luminosity than previous LHC runs, which means there's more collisions which happen at any one moment for researchers to analyze. The Large Hadron Collider produces tens of millions of collisions every single second, and only a few of these, or a few thousand of these, can be stored. Because if you recorded every collision, it would consume all the data storage extremely fast. So the CMS is equipped with a real-time data selection algorithm, which is called Trigger. It decides whether or not a given collision is interesting, and then it is not only a higher volume of data that could help to reveal evidence of the dark photon, but also in which the way it trigger the trigger system is fine-tuned to look for particular phenomena. Here's a quote. We've really improved our ability to trigger on displaced muons, says Juliette Alamina from the CMS experiment. This allows us to collect much more events than before with muons that are displaced from the collision point by distances from a few hundred micrometers to several meters. Thanks to these improvements, if dark photons exist, CMS is now much more likely to find them. Hmm. I mean, it gets more exciting, right? Exotic. We've got exotic dark photons from the LHC. Some people are like, wow, what's that? That sounds entertaining. Well, it's not the normal protocols, folks. That's why it's exotic. Let's take a little dive into CERN here for a minute. There's a long list of technological achievements that CERN has accomplished. The internet, as an example, imagine what happens when they create sentient algorithms that run the operations of civilization for humanity. 
And then they roll out a basic income, a universal basic income. The majority of the jobs become automated now. And you have a system that some might consider a utopia and others a dystopia. It's all in the eyes of the holders, I suppose. But the amount of data that this thing holds is ridiculous. A TEV is a trillion electron volts. So 13.6 trillion electron volts. That sounds like a lot, right? Is really, yeah, look, look at this. What, I mean, it sounds like, whoa, a trillion electron volts? One TEV is about the energy of motion of a flying mosquito. However, what makes the LHC so extraordinary is it squeezes energy into a space about a million, million times smaller than a mosquito. A TEV stands for Terra Electron Volt. That's one trillion electron volts or 10 to the 12th power electron volts. Wow. Energy needed to accelerate a proton to 99.999999% of the light speed requires about seven terabolts of energy. How much energy does the Large Hadron Collider use during operations? Listen to this. During LHC operations, the CERN site draws roughly 200 million watts of electrical power, or 200 mm, MW, <laughs> from the French electrical grid. To compare, that's about one third the energy consumption of the city of Geneva. The LHC accelerator and detectors draw about 120 MW thereof. Each day of its operation generates 140 terabytes of data. Luckily though, on a lighter note, well, I mean, they are pretty light. I mean, those particles are pretty dang light. Can I get a drum roll? Two robots are patrolling downtown Denver parking garages are more coming. They're like R2-D2s. Prime, okay, so it's Lodomus, Lodomus, Prime, and his sidekick, Dave roam two downtown Denver parking garages every single day watching people park their cars and rush off to appointments. If a person lingers too long, Lodimus Prime or Dave will start a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Then the robots call their human security for backup. They resemble R2-D2s, but without the beeps, boops, squeaks emitted by the famous Star Wars droid. The robots went to work in the Lodo Towers, two garages on the 17th Street, on 17th Street, October of 2022, after building management recognized an increase in car break-ins, said Bethany Chang, a principal with CIM Group, the firm that manages the property since the company deploys the robots it has seen more than a 70% drop in car thefts and vandalism. Well, R2-D2, he looks cute but he creates fear in the eyes of potential burglars. Let that be a warning for you. Star Wars, it's a documentary. Okay, folks, have a beautiful day. Be excellent to each other. Just joking. And be the change you want to see. And subscribe to our channel, ESN, IC News. You'll thank me later.